you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere on the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the best ways to be getting coins and working with your coins in the first week of Madden 21. Now, you guys may be asking, why well, I'm making these videos right now. Now, the issue is the game does come out in about, hopefully, any access, 4 to 6 days. Now, the thing is with this, though specifically is that when the game comes out i will be doing things like pack openings i will be doing the best solos to do i'll be doing a gameplay like the things i'll be doing won't be these types of videos now these videos are super helpful like a few days ago i made the best way to build your team because when the game comes out you guys are going to ask me in the comments how to build a team or you guys aren't going to know and you're going to wait for that video so instead of waiting i'm going to preload them now give you guys my best advice and kind of how to handle all this and then when the time does come to go ahead and do all those things you more or less have some videos here on the channel to look into. Also, it's kind of nice to talk about Madden 21, and, you know, in regards to Madden 20, which the game is just absolutely done at this point. But, guys, we are super close, super excited to talk about this. So, guys, before we get into today's video, make sure to down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on, boys. Come join the family, give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And that's about it. Come join the family, guys. Like, we're super close to Madden. And if you guys want to see memberships on the channel, let me know down below. I will be probably dropping the memberships coming into a few days, honestly, because uh, we can be ready for Madden 21. And let's hop into this. So, first off, how to earn 500k to a million coins the first week of Madden has to be one of the easiest things to do in Madden. The first week of Madden is the easiest time to get coins for the most part. And now, why is that? For multiple reasons. Starting off with the simplest one that you guys like, I cannot drill this into your heads enough. The one, you no know, one does this enough, and then they ask me how to get coins, and this is exactly how. Now, you get more coins if your money spent a little bit here. You get less coins if you're no money spent. But all the same, you still get coins. The first thing you want to be focusing on, guys, is the level up grind. Now, many of you guys don't focus on that the first few days, and I don't know why. That is the best thing to do for multiple reasons. While doing the level up grind, this is what happens. You guys play tons of solos, which in turn gives you more tokens. Oh, not sorry, coins. Also, while playing those solos, you level up. Also, while playing those solos, you get free cards. And also, while playing those solos, you're doing master objectives. So... And you're getting your uh, tokens for your, your level up master. So it's just a win-win. Now, going into the Mutt level. First week, we're going to probably have up to level 50. Now, guys, it is not as bad as it seems. You could probably knock it out in a day or two if you really wanted to. I've seen it done in a day. I've done it, I've done it myself in a day, personally. So when you look at this Mutt level, the first five levels... Well, let me, let me go over the basis. So, if you guys didn't know, the month, the month level grind is typically the easiest way to earn coins every new series or every new level progression. So, for the beginning of Madden, you got 50 of them. What will you see in these 50 levels? You will see about every few, about like every 5 to 10 levels, you will see a pack that gives you players. Now, those packs may cost a dollar. Guys, I highly recommend, even if you're no money spent, you spend the dollar. Now, you might be asking, why should you spend the dollar? Because when you spend that dollar, each pack usually comes with a platinum quick sell player. If you don't know what that is, those are the cards, the platinum cards that have the coins on them that you can quick sell for high amounts of value. So the first pack you get will be a dollar. The card will quick sell for 25K. Then around here, you get another pack. It quick sells for 25K. Then you get around here, another pack. It quick sells for 55K or 60K. Then you get another pack. It quick sells for like 85K. And before you know it, you end up with like a 100K quick sell. When you add all that up, you end up with about 300K worth of quick sells give or take then as you're getting to level 50 there's also coin quick sells like 20k 25k 25k maybe even a 50k in there when you add all that up guys i promise you if you, after you get all the level of packs that you buy for like a dollar plus you get all the coins you're looking at around 400 to 500k every time so off the bat you guys could easily build a stack team just by buying the dollar packs and there's really no more than eight to ten dollars worth of packs there maybe and if you have EA access it's even like 10 percent off so i highly recommend you guys buy those packs you say if you know money spent you can't that is not true in my opinion, no money spent more or less is just not spamming bundles, not spending hundreds of thousands of dollars. Eight bucks isn't horrible, guys. It, it doesn't make or break your no money spent thing. It's just getting the easy coins that are there. It's your time is worth more than a dollar to earn those coins, and it costs just a dollar to just quickly exchange for 100k coins. I'm telling you guys, best coin conversion there is. And now there's even more things in here. So as you're also going, sometimes they'll give you free packs. They'll give you gridiron packs. They'll give you all pro packs. They'll give you guaranteed elite packs. So add all that up you you get the worst pulls possible you could probably get another 50k out of those packs you get really good pulls you can look at like two or 300k so but let's go with bad pulls because again we cannot project the highest you must always project the lowest so off coin quick sells off level up packs and off the packs you'll be getting you're probably earning about five to six hundred k base up to a million coins of course now that's not even the whole thing now you have power up passes so look at this 
At level, whatever, over here, you get like an 80, an 80, an 82, an 84. So those power passes are going to save you like 10K coins, 10K coins, 20K coins, 40K coins. Then you get to the 86, that's going to save you like 100K coins to 80, 60 to 100K coins. And then you get to the final one, which is like an 87 to 88 or 89. That one will save you potentially upwards of 200K coins if you use it like on an Aaron Donald or Ramsey. So if you really do the math here, you're getting about 250 to 300K worth of free players plus the 500, 600K worth of coins, actual value. You're looking at almost a million coins earned the first week. And that's not even the, the tip of the iceberg. Now factor in the fact that you hit level 50 playing solo challenges. Add in the gauntlet rewards, which if you come over here, you add in the gauntlet rewards. Or let's just do a journey. Again, it's not a lot, but it's something. So let's go to the uh, the original, original journey. Journey NFL 100 part one, right? Just the one where you get, just the one where you get uh, Michael Thomas at the end. Yep, I never did it. I didn't want Michael Thomas, but again, hopefully the player is better this year. So you get a get a gold pack, a gold player pack, a gold premium pack, twenty five thousand coins, gridiron pack, twenty five thousand coins, Michael Thomas training in a gold premium pack. Guys, that alone right there can get you over hundred k because those two twenty fives are fifty, and then the gold premium could probably get you one elite hit or even just some golds that sell for like two to four k. So trust me, you're gonna hit about hundred k. So now you're looking at about over a million coins already. Not to mention five k, nine k, ten k. So you're looking at about twenty four to twenty five k again still well over a million then you do the nfl epics which again you do the nfl epics you're able to get all of these solos done all of these done all of these done they don't give you many coins but once you get all of them done guys at the end of everything you do end up with gold players gold players i pulled deandre hopkins 88 out of this one out of these nat packs then you get two, a baker mayfield a deacon jones you get a gold player and an elite nat now guys this may not be coin value yet but what you could do with deacon and baker if you don't want them and you just want coins you take them over to sets right I'll make a video on this when the game releases. You take them over to sets, and you can drop Baker Mayfield and Deacon Jones in an exchange set. 286.87s for an 88. So what I did was I dropped Baker Mayfield, Deacon Jones. I bought another one for 60K. I went in there. I pulled like a Ramsey or an Aaron Donald, whatever I pulled. You can only pull some of the best guys. I took them, and then I sold them. So I got Aaron Donald. I sold them, let's say, for 200K. And I only cost 60K in the two free players I got. So I made 140K profit. Now you're well over a million coins at that point. I'm telling you guys. First week, best way to make coins. People don't notice it for multiple reasons. Oh, and your daily objectives. Here's the thing. When people, what people do is they keep buying cards instantly. So you don't notice that your team, like, it's kind of worth a million. Or people don't do the level up grind till like, October. Like, they don't really care for leveling up. They'll level up slowly with online games. They won't grind it. I'm telling you, before you even touch online, grind, get to level 50. Once you're at level 50, you can relax. You can play online. You can enjoy yourself. The gauntlet as well. The gauntlet is going to give you a decent amount of coins. You're going to get about 12 more give or take 11k there and you get gold players 10,000 coins gold players 10,000 coins elite player a gauntlet player 25,000 coins 81 plus just add all the math up guys i'm telling you you're at bare minimum gonna make 800k if you get nothing out of every pack and at best case scenario you're looking at well over a million like 1.5 and i just know because last year i started off after those first few bundles just playing this and i was at like over a million coins pretty fast and just worth of a team and but you don't realize because because people will what people do is the first week is they get their level up coins or they don't first off they don't do their level up so you're already losing like 600k right there so now you gotta do your solo so you get your first 25k from the gauntlet i'm gonna open a pack get nothing i'm gonna open another pack get nothing then you're like i'm gonna go buy um aaron donald for 250 or any drops then you then they resell them real fast because they have so many coins sell them for 230 just lost 20k plus another 25k on reduction so that's 50k they just lost then they go i'm gonna go buy a bunch of base leads. then they're like Actually, I want to try out this other wide receiver. They sell him. Another 5K loss in reduction. I'm going to buy another pack. Because they don't feel it because it's coming out so slowly. But then at the end, you literally just counteracted everything you were making. So you end up with a decent amount. Then people ask me, you know, how do you have so many coins? You know, how can I get more coins? Like, you could A, you could buy coins. There's nothing wrong with that. I, I highly support that, actually. But take your free coins the first week. You can make literally over a million coins in the first week just by playing the game it's I, like no one looks at it that way and you want to make it even more go play some seasons too like when you're done with that grind go play seasons you get like a k or so per game like, unless you get into a higher tier which is gonna take a while though but you get like almost a k per game maybe 750 so you play a whole season that's like 10k you get in the playoffs from in the super bowl maybe a few packs or so maybe they increase the rewards guys there's so many ways to make coins the first week but guys that's about it for the video hope you guys did enjoy hopefully this gets you like i don't imagine this video to do too well right now I just hope when the game does drop, you guys are coming to look for how to make coins. And you see this video, and it helps you guys out. But guys, about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. I'm out. Peace.